let's unbox the second printing of Foundations of Rome. Welcome to Brains on Games. I'm Dr. Brian McDonald. In this episode, we're going to do something a little unusual because I got a big delivery this week. And by big, well, you can see it beside me, a giant box of a game that, I, you know, I took the tape off the top, but otherwise I haven't even looked inside this box yet. I thought it would be fun to open it up on camera and see what's inside. This is the second printing of Foundations of Rome. I backed this thing on Kickstarter. I got the deluxe version, so I'm not sure at all what's going to be in this box. The campaign was a while ago now, um, so I'm looking forward to seeing what's inside. It's been a long time since I got a game delivery that was a 20-pound box, so literally 20 pounds. It says on the side how much this thing weighs. Uh, my wife almost fell down the stairs trying to bring it in the house because it was raining outside and it came in while I was at work. So uh, luckily no one was injured in bringing this inside the house, but this is a big box. So let's take a look at what's inside. I should say first that this isn't the only box. This, this, <laughs> this giant 20 pound box also was accompanied by a much smaller box that had a little, I, this might be the first player token, a little metal statue of a, a Roman senator. Let's see if I put it up here, if you can see it on the camera. And there were also some upgraded scoring tokens in that second box as well. But let's see what's inside here. So it was certainly well packaged. There's styrofoam on the top, as you can see. But I haven't even seen the box inside here yet, so I don't know <laughs> what it's going to look like. Let me see if I can get this open. And there we go. One great big... <sighs> One great big box that's wrapped in plastic so I guess it would have been okay maybe out in the rain um, but what I'm gonna do is take this 20 pound box out of the larger box we'll get the plastic off we'll see what's inside well look at that everything is very well organized they've got foam inside the box this must be all of the player pieces let's check this out so these have got to be monuments and things like that that you're going to be putting into your city. Look how beautiful these miniatures are. They're super detailed. I pray that somewhere in this box there's instructions for how to put everything back because I don't know if I'm going to be able to do that on my own. Ah, we've got different buildings here in a yellow color. All kinds of monuments and different shaped buildings. But again, very detailed. There's little shrubberies and everything in here. And there, it's the sun drop style of, of miniatures painting. So I, there's more, they're not painted, um, but there's certainly more contrast to them than the typical just plain gray miniatures. Check that out. So it looks like all these other pieces are the same and there's just some various uh, player color pieces inside these boxes. And then finally, there's a big insert here that has the rule book. It looks like the player boards are inside here as well. So everything is well organized, uh, but it's going to be quite a puzzle for this guy to get everything back together again. There it is. I've taken the top off the purple player board. Uh, all these, with these player pieces, there's little, even separate little plastic coverings to keep things in place inside this little box. But look at these buildings. They're just incredible. Uh, and things are labeled here inside the box. So I'm not sure yet because I haven't read the rules what all of these labels mean. But um, my goodness, these are weighty, uh, beautiful plastic miniature pieces. And the sun drop looks really sharp. They're hollow on the inside, so they're not too heavy, but they've got a nice heft to them. And here you have some, some very large, uh, you can't even really call them miniature pieces. Um, you've, you've got all kinds of statues and buildings here. These are huge, as you can see. Um, this is going to be a real puzzle to put it back. These ones are not labeled, unfortunately. I don't know. I'm, I'm terrible at figuring out how things are supposed to go. Uh, but these are very well packaged, and you can see we've got little pieces like spears here, and everything seems to be straight. I'm not seeing anything that's bent just on this first look here at the box. This really is going to be a puzzle to put everything away. <laughs> Even, even just recovering those monuments that I just pulled out. I had to turn things around. It's like inserting a USB plug, maybe. Uh, but we've got an, a big, thick rule book here. Uh, looks like there's some cardboard tokens that can be punched out. Dual layer scoring boards for the victory track. This is a... Okay. A deeds for sale. Looks like there might be some drafting here or some, something that you can buy along the way. Maybe that's how you're going to get those big monuments. 
and here's your city board. Presumably you're going to be putting all of those buildings on here somehow and, and seeing if you can get the most victory points by placing yours. More cardboard tokens. We've got some victory point tokens here as well, it looks like. Uh, and here we are. We've got cards inside, a nice insert. It looks like there's going to be space for everything once I punch out all of these pieces. Metal coins. Listen to that. You know I love metal coins. Uh, and then these, there's little Lego blocks here. It's almost, well, they're not quite Lego blocks, but these are, are some sort of little tokens that must fit on the buildings. I don't know if you could tell on the camera, but the, some of the buildings have a, a little hole inside of it where you can insert um, these colored pieces. So this is going to be how you keep track of who owns which building because these are all in the player colors. Well, there you go. I'm going to open up some card packs and, and punch some pieces, and I'll look forward to playing this game. If you want to see a review of Foundations of Rome, now I recognize this is an older game, and maybe there's already enough videos you've seen about it. If you want to see me talk about this thing, I'm definitely going to want to play this. This is a big, uh, it looks like a, an advanced, heavier strategy game, so I'm looking forward to trying it out. But if you want to see me do a review or a video, leave a comment in the comment section below. Uh, or you can, of course, email me at brian at brainsongames.ca. Brainsongames.ca is the website. That's where future episodes will go, and the previous ones are up there already. Brains on Games is the X handle and the Facebook page and the Instagram feed, so we're all over the place. Uh, and if you enjoyed this video and you want to see more unboxing videos, you can always head over to YouTube and click that subscribe button. Thanks for joining me. Hopefully I'll see you next time. Yeah.